Okay, my good friends, Roger once again. You know that I uh, discovered mud fossil body parts, and this happens to be a, a mud fossil bonehead. Now, this was a part of a secondary bone that attached to it, just like that. And how they do is they have a ball that locks in there, and if you can see, and I, sh I think you can, I hope you can, if you have better eyes than me. There are a couple of little um, blood vessel holes in there. And uh, some other, like, a little attachments. Now, on the other side of this would be another ball, and in, it, it might be a lot bigger, it might be smaller. Now, in this case of Ultima Thule, which is um, is a an asteroid or um, comet or whatever you want to call it. Comet 67P is right here. I studied Comet 67P too. This just to give you an, a, a a dimension apparently. Now this is what what you have here is the bone is attached to that. And that attached to another bone. And I will show you that. Now before I show it to you, remember this. You see these bubbles here? These little round balls? Like they're showing all these balls all over. Like what are all these things? And these two holes here. You see them? Those are the blood vessels I'm saying are right there. If you can see that. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. Uh, and then it would snap into another ball. And I will show you that. And that other ball has all these big balls on it. And here's exactly what you have. This thing would go, actually from this side, I believe, would go snap just like that. And then that ball would be inside of another, like a leg or something. This would be, I don't know, do whatever. But the two of them would be able to work together. Maybe that's in the shoulders, you know, that type of thing, whatever. That's an anchor. It's an anchor. And these balls fit into the, these little tiny holes that are like they're anchor holes. And they're all over the place. And you just have no clue of where these biology things are found. But that's ultimate tool. That's out in space. Let's look at Comet 67P and all the rest. I, I, maybe that was confusing. Obviously, this is not out in space. This is somewhere on Earth. Because Earth is identical to everything else that's in space and every other planet biology and this is on earth but Ultima Thule is in space and it's identical same thing all right this is comet 67p and this is meat that is actually muscle to tendon muscle muscle bundle and this is uh, I'm sorry this is muscle this is the tendinous fibers and then there would have been muscles up here it's broken off this is some type of an anchor of a tendon now and that's Comet 67P. It's given off the same gases they all give off, which is meat smoke. Now, I just got this from a friend, and this is um, Asteroid Benu. This is from NASA, and here's what they have to say. I think this is a tendon ball. Watch what they say here. The first stop is Simmerg Saxon, this prominent boulder. You see these two boulders? These are, I believe, the blood supply. One of them, he's going to talk about magnetite, and that is, is um, Defines iron. Defines the asteroid's prime meridian and serves as the basis of its coordinate system. In Persian mythology, the Simurgh is a large and benevolent bird and the possessor of all knowledge. Saxum is Latin for stone. To the northeast lies the largest boulder on Bennu. Measuring over 300 feet in length, Rock Saxum is a colossus longer than a football field. It is also rich in a... All right, rich in magnetite. Well, let's, let's see what magnetite is. But you saw there two together here. Now, I'm, I'm, almost all the moons are tendon balls. I'm sorry, that's just what we're into. Everything in space is biology. The Earth is biology. You see this? This is literally almost blood. Fe three o four. Blood is Fe two o two and Fe two o three. 
it's what it is. I'm telling you, this is just so obvious, it's unbelievable. All right, here it is right here. Asteroid Bennu, covered with carbon-bearing organic life, NASA says. And yes, they are saying that. Now, here it is right here. And they, let me go back to where they talk about, here it is right here. Unit Boulder defines the asteroid's prime meridian and serves as the basis of its coordinate system. In oh. Persian mythology, the Simurgh is a large... You see this? That's one, that's the blood supply, the uh, artery, and that's the vein. And the it's magnetite, and then we're going to see what magnetite is. Here goes. ...and benevolent bird, and the possessor of all knowledge. Saxum is Latin for stone. To the northeast lies the largest boulder on Bennu. Measuring over 300 feet in length, Rock Saxum is a colossus longer than a football field. It is also rich in a type of iron oxide called magnetite. Iron oxide. Iron is blood. Now, it's bubbled out of there because it's bled out from that particular spot. Now, I have, you know, here's what magnetite is. It's Fe3O4. You know what blood is? Fe2O2 and Fe2O3. You know, oxygenated, non-oxygenated. It is blood. There's literally no question about it. And um, we saw that the asteroid, there was something else I did want to show you, but I, it's so obvious that, the, oh yeah, here's what it is. Comet 67P, same chemicals, same um, molecules coming out of here, iron oxides and all of the different uh, molecules of life, plus this is a bundle of muscle, that is a bundle of tendons, these are tendons. That is an anchor, which is the anchor of the uh, a tendon, and then it runs off into muscle, and that's a muscle bundle right there. Any anatomist will understand that. And when this happens, the um, you've got all they talk about gases coming out. Well, here's why: they're coming out, being boiled out by the sun. The sun is cooking inside these little blood vessels, and they come in every direction. That's why, because they service the tissues in every direction. They're not just dust, you know, spewing off of there. That is ejecta from boiling gases that were from life. It's, it's a lot of different than what we were taught. And this is, and the thing is. People say, where did all this stuff come from in space? I don't know. How the hell do I know? All I can tell you is the only place I can tell you that that it says where it could have come from is it said there was battles in the heaven or there was, I think it said there was battles in the heavens. God fought the angels and the, the, the two different sets of angels fought back and forth and I guess they really did a job on each other. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was a collision of some planet hit another planet. Because these things are so big that it's just absolutely... They're moons. The moons are... Look, well, let me show you. Okay, you see this? These are the kind of tendon balls that are interstitial or they are actual tendon balls. And they have... Some of them have these straps run around them. And they have... The ball... The strap runs up and right into them. Now, we have them in copious quantities. You see that? That's Iapetus, identically same thing. And virtually all the moons have this similar situation. They say these are all impact craters everywhere. Well, a lot of them are. I can't disagree with that. But a lot of them, you can see they have biology built into them. They have veins and arteries built right into them. It's ba that's Iapetus. That's basically the same thing that was in that tendon wall I showed you before. All right, there's another one looks like Iapetus. There's another one. This is on Earth. This is, that's where the stalk goes in and they break off. They're, they're not strong like the ball is. This is the same balls. You see, every, they, they're everywhere. And this, the Earth is or was alive and it's, it's in trouble as far as I can see. 
All right, here's one here. There's the stalk and it's broken off there. They come different ways. Sometimes the stalk comes out and it leaves a little crater and sometimes it breaks like that. Hard to say. And they come all different ways. Some of them have almost like those Russian dolls or like a, like an eggshell after eggshell after eggshell. Some of them have cross hatches in them. Some of them have like all kinds of different chemistry and different structure inside now i can't tell you for sure that it's all from the same creature because they could be from all different creatures i have no idea but they're diff all different styles of internal structure some of them have little blocks and some of them have different like straight acrosses and uh, very very strange and i have pictures of all of them um i've done a lot of research on this and um, like I say, they could be from all different creatures or they could be from like shoulder tendons, which have to maybe give a little bit of a this or that. And they need 10, you know, a structure within them. And in other areas that don't give it all, they're just solid balls like this. Who knows? I don't. <laughs> all I can say, my friends, it's an exciting time to be alive. And Mud Fossil University is where we're exploring all of the different situations that have not been explored. They've been ignored and dismissed because they're embarrassing to some people. They're they're too too much for some people. And they're um some people feel intimidated by things that make them look less authoritative. That basically is the situation. There's so much here that has been so dismissed and you know I started and uh, I'm not gonna bother with him right at the moment Roger um, I mean uh, Scott Walter I uh, I'm trying to get him to work with me I would love to have him work with I'd love to have somebody work with me and it's Roger at mudfossils.com I have so much evidence and so much of everything now. I mean, it's just this is everything, and and it's 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 really being suppressed in in the most grievous manner. I mean, look, one thousand hits, a thousand hits, you know, or a couple thousand, a couple thousand. That's all I get, and and I have ninety five thousand subscribers. I don't think they're sending out notifications. I have people telling me that they're getting unsubscribed no reason why I never get any notices and I know that's true but what are you gonna do I can't that's nothing I can do and I, I need you people to step up and get this moved out to other people because uh, I am so suppressed right now I have been reported for all kinds of things and and once you get reported enough they just lock you down and they're right that's where I am all right so you heard my email somebody get a hold of me if you want uh, whatever I don't know if you want I don't know what you want <laughs> at this point I don't know what's going on anymore nobody seems to care nobody reaches out nobody sends back anything I'm done sending to anybody so if somebody wants to get any more information on this you're going to have to contact me Vios con Dios I love you all